you and I know a lot of people who've adopted pets and dogs during the pandemic, but now everyone's going back to the office and guess what? All these dogs are used to all that attention. Oh, I know. It's like separation anxiety. And then can we also talk about the first dog? Major <laughs> Biden, the president's dog, poor thing. He keeps getting in trouble. I, 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 I think he doesn't want anyone to leave him. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know what he needs is canine intervention with Josh Leverett of Cali Canine. And you are all in luck because Josh has some tips for us. My name is Josh Leverett. Guts! Professional canine trainer. Sit. My dog training system is known all over the world. Yeah, boy! I help the dogs that no one else will. Josh, it's so great to meet hey, you! Hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you, too. Oh, my gosh, I've been watching Canine Intervention, Cali Canine, and I'm following you. It's such a pleasure to finally meet you in person. It's my pleasure as well. Where's Thank the other you so star? Much. Where's Slash? Slash, oh. <laughs> Hey, Slash! He's right here. What's up, boy? Oh my gosh, it's yeah. amazing what you've done with him. So, Thank like, you so much. The, the success you've had on Canine Intervention is just amazing. You've done so much for people, you know, with dogs and everything. It's like, what would you say is like one of the biggest mistakes that people do all the time with their dogs? Well, a lot of times we have a saying, if you treat a dog like a human, they'll treat you like a dog. And what happens is sometimes when you're getting dominant behavior from your dog, it's only because you're kind of promoting the things that are causing these type of things to happen. We're also not socializing our dogs properly and bringing them into new situations uh, at the right speed to where dogs become uncomfortable, then they default to aggression, and then you have more problems. So our, here, our whole goal here at Cali Canine is to work on socialization and behavior modification. So like for me, am I allowed to touch, like to reach out and, and pet Slash, or how does Absolutely. that work? Absolutely. Yeah? yeah, go ahead and do it. Can you go ahead and say hi, Slash? Hi, Slash. Yeah. Hi, so, you know, Slash. he's really engaged to me. He's really motivated by me. I have his ball and his food and things that he knows, so he has high expectations from our relationship. But he's very social. He can be around my baby. He can be around new people all the time. You have. New dogs. Yeah. I've seen so many of your shows, like all of them. You know, um, with the different dogs that you've, you've taken care of. Like, what's your biggest goal, your mission here? Good. Uh, my biggest goal and mission is to reduce the euthanization rate by 50%. And the way we're going to do that is through educating proper, pro uh, proper handling, proper pack leadership, proper understanding of the dogs that we're bringing into our homes. A lot of times we're bringing in pit bulls and dominant breeds where we don't understand how to give them the proper outlets, and then they end up making their own outlets that get them in trouble and deem them bad dogs. But it's not about bad dogs, it's about uninformed owners. So really here at Cali K9, we're we're just trying to promote responsible pet ownership and, you know, holding the owners really accountable for what their dog knows. How long have you been wanting to do this? Like, did you know that you wanted to be like the, well, you know, dog whisperer of your life? <laughs> As a dog man, I've been a pretty much uh, animal enthusiast since the second grade. I can remember trying to learn how to spell veterinarian. I can remember sixth grade <laughs> graduation for elementary school saying I wanted to save dogs and rescue dogs and things like that. So it's always been my thing. It was always what I was, you know, into growing up. And yeah, I just pretty much made it a hobby, turned career and now I'll be able to help a lot of people. Yeah, also want to mention too, uh, again, love the show, Canine Intervention. So Thank you. You're from the Bay. I'm from Oakland. You are from Oakland, right? Yes, indeed. And you do Cali Canine like all up and down uh, California, right? Yes, indeed, but we have it all over the world, really. We have an online training. We have an international tour as well as a national tour. And we also have our online training where you're able to purchase your uh, training package through the website and basically get a, your box training box sent to you and you're able to train at home. So. Callie came out from Oakland to the world. Yeah, <laughs> that box is key. Yeah, Can you definitely. teach me a couple of things? What's Absolutely. Just show me a couple of things. Like, I don't know, I think in one of them you actually say that you need to spend 15 minutes a day. Absolutely, and we right. have a whole thing that says 15 minutes a day keeps bad behavior away. So if you put in that consistency daily, you'll definitely get the results that you're looking for. But again, you have to be accountable for what your dog knows. So I'll definitely show you some things. I can Would get you? my boxes and stuff set up. Yeah. All right, Jess, I know that you are all about the box here. Absolutely, so we're all about the box and we're all about the motivation. So we're gonna figure out praise, food, toys, and then we start with, the, yes, our box system. So I'll show you how we do it. Okay, okay. with Slash, he's very toy motivated. So incorporate my toy. Slash so touch. Good. So food. so in the touch, we we'll start teaching them rearing awareness. Okay? And then when you make nice left turns, the dog learns to just walk nicely with you. Okay, so I'll reward that. Break. So that's here. Down. Out. Touch. Good. Then we go to the box. Whoop. For the sit, we we'll work on the sit on the box. Whoop. Box. Quick clutch. Good, we get it down, sit. Good, foot. All right, so we did some training inside. Now it's time to take your hands on with it, good outside. So what I want you to do is stand where I am. Okay. Okay, and I want you to put this in your left hand. Okay. 
Okay, Max. Good. Now I want you to get his focus. And tell him Foos. Foos? Now start it? walking. Start walking? With him. Tell him Foos. Foos? Put it on his outside of his ear. This side? Yeah. Now make a left turn. Uh, make a left turn. Do a couple left turns like I did on the bike. Tell him Foy. 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 There you go. Now keep it right on his left ear. Right here. Okay. Good. Now tell him Foos. Foos. Start walking with that left leg bleed. There you go. There you go. So he's oh. following that left leg. Oh, he's so good. Perfect. Now make a left about turn. Foos? Uh-uh. Foos? Foos? Good enough. Keep going. Making sure he's focused on you. Good. Good. Now tell him sit. Sit. Leave him there. Walk away. Walk forward. With that, with Leave that. him there. Tell him sit. Sit. Walk away. Thanks, Thanks Josh. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Take care.